2004 Lincoln Town Car. This is a ultimate town car. Um, beautiful pearl white. No sunroof, but to make up for it. Oh yeah, the big L baby. Anyways, we're uh, heading back about a half hour to go take a look and take this Link uh, Cadillac home. Uh, we got tires in the trunk we picked up from my buddy. So we're gonna go take a peek at it now and see what we get our hands, uh, we get on our hands for the next 900 miles home. Holy crap. Talk about living off right Oh, there she is. There she is. Ooh, baby. Wow. And we made it. I hope you make it. <laughs> <laughs> and here is my diamond in the rough. 1991 Cadillac Rome. The elegance. So I bought this car a couple weeks ago. We came prepared. Beautiful, dirty, but clean white leather interior. Needs a headliner, of course. Even the driver's seat is really nice. Dirty, but clean. Got the gold keys, you know, door panels. We're gonna replace some tires. You can see these guys are ready to those are what we call Maypops. Actually, those are more like Will Pops. So, I was ahead of the game. We got new tires in the trunk of the Lincoln. And we're going to drive this one all the way home. Came on Ed Morris Cadillac, Tampa Bay. All the moldings are all missing, dry rotted, fillers are dry rotted. You know, these things are being held on by a thread. Those are all dry rotted. You can see when they start to get rotten like this. So, rebuild that antenna. Put a new roof on it. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I probably shouldn't be driving this thing back. <laughs> oh, look at their cobwebs. We're just gonna jump in this thing and drive. No air conditioning. Of course not. I'm shut that off. Uh, all right. Get the paperwork. Oh yeah, got the cup holder still. Inside the glove box, you got the hubcap key. I made sure they had that. Oh, all right, let's see. Pray for us. Pray that this car makes it back. We are definitely off the grid here. My dad probably thinks I am literally insane. That's probably where I'd sat for the last 10 years. <laughs> Supposedly these tires have real bad flat spots. Obviously it looks like they're about to detread. This is probably not one of my better choices to do, but I couldn't get this car shipped and Papa Bear's right behind me. Good thing is, the good thing about this is, well, I think it's a good thing. I haven't tested that theory yet. I have friends and contacts along the way, pretty much in every state. All right, we're on pavement now. Oh my God. This car, holy this shit. This car has got flat spots. I mean, it's just, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this thing is literally just wobbling back and forth oh we got about well <laughs> oh 
Oh my God. Good thing we brought tires. They told us from the get-go, the car needs tires, the car needs tires. They te I texted them last night, we're in town. And she said, did you bring a flatbed? And I said, no, we got new tires with us though. Oh my gosh. And these, these aren't flat spots that are gonna like straighten out. These are flat spots for life. These tires are garbage. Probably the worst tires I've ever driven on. We had about a 20 minute drive, 11 miles or so. We're just gonna take it easy. Like I can't even let go of the steering wheel cause it's like, just like all over the place. Literally the front end's like just doing this back and forth, back and forth. Really just shaking back and forth. My dad's behind me like, my son is an idiot, but I'm proud of him. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. This is the most sketchy drive. Oh my God. I have ever done in one of these cars. <laughs> and probably the furthest from home. So that makes me feel good. This car hasn't moved in a long time. There's cobwebs everywhere. This thing is no question been sitting and sitting and sitting and I might have underestimated this one a little bit overestimated these are my tire peeps these are the people that are gonna bail me out right now 900 miles from look at those tires The new white wall is going. Oh my god, look at those brakes. <laughs> yeah, huh? This is gonna be fun. Thank you. Papa Bear. I think she needs a lot of help. A lot of love. Yeah. And are you glad you're driving the Lincoln back? Oh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. These tires are insanely junk. Looks like we came just in time. Can also get a nice meal. I don't know where, but somewhere. Oh yeah, good tread still on these things. See all this stuff, this is just breaks apart. All dry rotted, gonna get it all cleaned up nice, buff it up, new vinyl top. It's already got new tires. I didn't never actually looked underneath it. Doesn't look too bad under here. New white walls, nothing looks better than a brand new white wall on that. New valve stems, all balanced out. I'm excited to see what this thing drives like, but boy, those rotors are trash. But the interior of this car is so nice. Just needs some love. All right, we're good. We got new white walls installed. Brandy Newsy. I'm gonna see how this car rides now on the new rubber. Drove 0.2 miles down. <laughs> but those 0.2 miles are glorious miles on these new white walls. I don't know how much gas is in this thing. I think the gas gauge works. It's going up, so we'll see. Papa Bear's car was empty, so filling the Lincoln up, filling the Kaduski up. We'll see how we do. Next stop. Next stop is another friend of mine who I've talked to before, I've actually bought cars from before, and I've never met in my life. We're heading to White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, which I'm super excited about. This guy is a real class act. I feel like we're brothers from different mothers. So I'm excited to head on. We're about four and a half, I think, hours to White Sulphur Springs. And uh, after that, we have another car to look at that's been abandoned at a car dealership in Virginia. Kind of a weird situation, cold call I got just a couple days ago, and it just so happens that we're gonna drive right by it, so that's coming up as well. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Nice and straight, well, mostly straight. Smooth as glass. 
And surprisingly, well, I haven't got it on the highway yet, but surprisingly, those uh, crappy rotors are probably, oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Nice Hodge body, I think they call that truck with a 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. And a nice Monte Carlo SS. There's some cool cars around here. Great meeting people that you feel like you've known your entire life <laughs> and never met. And uh, we just had a nice dinner, real nice people out here. And uh, that's what I love about this, you know, this car community is meeting folks and uh, making friendships out of it. So we're heading back towards the highway. We're in White Sulphur Springs. Uh, West Virginia. We're heading back to Virginia. Gonna make one quick pit stop tonight and then driving the rest of the way home tomorrow. So put 280 miles on this thing. It's only shows that it's gone down a quarter of a tank of gas, which I know is completely wrong. So the gas gauge has got to be off. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna top them off again and uh, chug along. Probably drive another two and a half hours tonight. What are you doing? Look at you, you're on YouTube comments. You yeah. Ch you're eating an ice cream and you're checking YouTube comments. That's Papa Bear, the YouTube superstar. But he got me an ice cream too. You ready to go? Ready to go. So would you believe that this ugly old Cadillac, I just pumped 11 and a half gallons of gas into it. We've gone 280 miles in that 11 and a half gallons. And I'm horrible with math, so anybody who's horrible like me, just put it in their calculator. 281 miles. That's like 24 miles to a gallon. Insane. Well, let's hit the road. Two hours to our next destination. And we'll see what we got going on. Another Cadillac I'm gonna go take a quick peek at. Just a quick peek, you know. That's what I do. Ooh, like a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. I know I'm on the opposite side of the road, but there's literally no way around. These are like hairpin turns. Oh, here comes somebody! Oh! <laughs> where the f where the heck are we? You would never think there was a Ford dealership around here. Steep grade, next two miles. Here we go. All right, so now it's 11.15. We are now in a small town in Virginia. This is, this is kind of where this trip is gonna get a little strange. I got a phone call on 
what was it Thursday of this past week. Now the the stars couldn't align any better on this in this case. I think I don't know yet because we're not there yet. But I got a phone call from a gentleman, and I'm really not sure what the, the whole story is. But from what I got was this guy found me online and somehow has been following me about you know 1992 bromes he called me up and he said hey i don't know if you buy bromes but i have one i'm looking to get rid of it's in virginia you know i didn't know if you'd be interested in buying it i said well you know what what kind of miles are on it and he said well it's got a little over a hundred thousand miles i said oh usually i would say no right away but i listened and he told me a scenario that he bought this car and he was driving it home to Utah. He was in Virginia, moving back to Utah, I think, and was going to drive this brome back to Utah when he didn't get too far and the car broke down and the car got towed. Apparently at the time, the closest repair shop was this Ford dealer in the middle of nowhere and the car has been left there and they did a bunch of work to it i think like seventeen hundred dollars worth of work to this car oh my god my ears are popping as we're driving up this hill this mountain gee whiz uh he's paid most of the bill but owes a little bit left doesn't have the money to pay they want to put a mechanics lien on the car it's been there since like last year i guess i don't know it's a real crazy story anyways when i was talking to him i looked it up on the map and i said wow like how crazy is this? We're going to be driving right through this area. Oh, my brakes are really starting to get bad. Hopefully this thing doesn't break down here. Wow, this is a tiny Ford dealership. A really tiny Ford dealership. And I do not see a Cadillac. Oh shit. <laughs> Hello. Look at this finish specimen. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> it's Papa Bear. <laughs> Papa Bear's like, oh, what the fuck has my son got me into now? Oh my god. What is it? It's a brome, not a D elegance. Oh, she's pretty roachy. We got a light on this thing? This thing looks pretty rough. Yeah, the antenna's no good. The uh, roof was coming up. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that roof is junk. This side too. It's all gone. Prop is cracked. Fillers are no good on it. Uh, Moldings. Bumper is. good. The Moldings are junk. I don't know what kind. Of... Oh, yeah. The light's gone. This thing is kind of ugly. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh yeah, this thing's. Holy shit! What a, not a nice car. No? No. Maybe you probably should let it go then. Yeah, I don't even know if it'd be worth me shipping this thing up. No, it's not a 5.7 either, right? Oh my God, did this thing just shut up? Yeah, it did. You better head out of here. Oh my God. Why'd this just shut off? I don't know. First time it did that. Maybe he was mad that we we're looking at another brome. I don't know. I'm taking you home, baby. Don't ever do that to me again, please. Where are we going? I don't even know where we're going. Well, we're gonna go spend the night here. We're about seven hours from home. 
that stalling thing kind of concerns me. I don't know if it's a fuel pump on its way out. It's starting to get weak. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to spend the night. See what happens in the morning. Seven hours from home. The trip's getting more interesting. Maybe it was just jealous about that other Cadillac we looked at. Who knows? Back on the road again. Hopefully. Oh, yes. She'll do fine. We will do fine. Oh. Uh, <sighs> 486. Oh, hello. The other thing I noticed, we did a little bit of rain last night. Never really looked at my wiper blades. Yeah. <laughs> That's not really much of a wiper blade. Should be fun. And I've only lost a couple pieces of the molding. So far, they're all still on there. Let's rock and roll. Another 11, 12 gallons. Man, you got some bugs on here. No. Holy Moses, you got some bugs. All up in your radiator. Right up the street. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need windshield wipers. I don't have many bugs, I got more ugliness. And debris. It's all rotted. Specialty motor cars, windshield cleaning services. Welcome to New Jersey. <laughs> I think we could probably say this was a somewhat successful trip. We're in, just getting off the top tip of New Jersey. We're almost home. A few more hours to go. Papa Bear is still rocking that town car, and I'm still rocking the Cadillac. But I think we, I think we got it. We got it in the, in the bag. Papa Bear's Lincoln, flawless, obviously. So. Look at that big long body. He is rocking that thing. The big old link. Tappan Zee Bridge. We're getting close, baby. We're getting real, real close. Welcome to Massachusetts, Cadillac. 905 miles. Just about ready to click 93,000. Can't see a damn thing because it's just starting to rain. Thankfully, I'm almost home because I haven't had to use wiper blades the whole time. Just cruising. It's just like clockwork. She made it. 976 miles. Papa Bear. How many miles you got, Papa Bear? 1,650. 1,650 miles? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm not paying you by the mile, am I? Yeah, of course. Oh, you got to take by this. by the day, weekends, time and a half, time, time, time on Sunday. Bring it back. We made it. <laughs> How far back do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> 04 Town Car Ultimate L and a severely dehydrated 1991 Brougham. The Elegance Triple White. It's going to be a project car. I'm excited to show you this car, show you how I take this busted up antenna, crapped out looking Cadillac, and we're gonna make her a gem. All here at Specialty Motor Cars. Give a like, give a thumbs up. We'll talk to you on the next one. Good shop here. Thought this was all done, but we just realized the whole time we drove this car back, we never opened the trunk to see if there was a spare tire or if there was a jack in here. <laughs> Or a, a, a possum family. 
Oh, there is a tire. Oh, there you go. There is a tire. Wow, it's even got the original mat. There's the broken spring. It's got air. It's never been on the ground. The original bumper molding. Oh, what's left of it? Holy mo... Dust. Move. Dust. No jack, though. But hey, if we got a flat, we would have been, you know... You get the tire cover. You get the tire cover. There you have it. She made it all the way home, safe and sound.